Hi YouTube, it's me, Bamber Bella. I'm coming to you guys today with a voiceover because the last time, or a few times, I guess, whenever I uploaded uh, before to YouTube, you guys said you wanted a voiceover or either some music in the background. So I'm trying the voiceover option and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I don't have any scripts, so I'll just be talking about the process for this eight style art challenge eight art style challenge that i did these are just going to be artworks or not necessarily artworks but art styles from cartoons that i enjoyed watching growing up the first one that you see here is just my art style for the character that i'm going to be replicating in each of the different styles at first, it was kind of easy to pick out which styles that I wanted to replicate, but I don't know. <laughs> You'll see <laughs> as we keep going. I feel like I started out strong and then kind of got weak as it went along, but eh, it's fine. I did this over a series of a few days. I think this in total was like 17 hours of drawing time. I did it in Procreate. And it's almost like the same process for each one where I just did the base sketch and then did line art, colored it in. I had to study most of the different styles and some of them they came naturally because as a kid I kind of tried to <laughs> draw in those styles. You know, as like the art kid in the classes not paying attention and <laughs> trying to draw all the time. So some of them were easy and others just didn't come as easily i guess because some of the styles that i chose were kind of unique so of course with this first one i wasn't exactly sure how i wanted to draw in my style so recently i noticed that i've kind of done like an overnight upgrade <laughs> with my style i don't know what happened but i noticed that i'm starting to kind of draw things that i would normally draw a little bit differently and i'm also seeing <laughs> Where I'm kind of messed up on the eye. I meant to go back and change that, but I didn't catch it until it was too late. The next style is going to be Winx Club. I loved this show growing up. I used to wake up early every Saturday to watch it on TV when it was Foxbox back then. And then it became 4Kids TV. Oh, I, you guys don't understand how much I love this show. I used to always try to draw the characters. And I even had like some characters that I made up like way back. I don't think I even have... <laughs> the sketches from then because i used to draw in like notebooks and stuff i specifically remember one time when i don't remember what grade i was in but i got in trouble for drawing misa <laughs> while my teacher was giving a math lecture i remember i got in trouble <laughs> she took the drawing and my mom was like what is this <laughs> I vividly remember that. Yeah, that was this one. It was kind of easy because I don't know if you can tell, but some of the elements from that art style has translated over into my style. So like with how I've drawn the eyes, how it has that kind of triangle shape. Sometimes I draw like that, but the one thing that's like really noticeable is like the heavy eyeliner or like I guess the eyelashes, that's something that I, that's that I do in my artwork. That's something that's been consistent since I started trying to develop my own art style. Is that I always have drawn eyes like that. Same thing with lips. It, they've always been like that consistent thing. The next one is going to be the Bratz style. That was another show I used to watch on Foxbox for kids TV before they changed the name. Oh, I loved Bratz. I loved the dolls, everything. Recently, I found out that they're doing a relaunch of the dolls, so I'm so excited for that. Even though 
I don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on any of the collector dolls because they're already sold out online. This is another one that kind of influenced my style a lot. Of course, with the like big juicy lips. And again, kind of like if you've seen the 3D style, which is different from their 2D cartoony style, how they draw the girls, they had the heavy like eyeliner and makeup type look back then. So that's another thing that I noticed kind of translated into my style. These were like the ones that I had the most fun drawing, even though I kind of had some trouble with trying to figure out how they did the 2D style hair because most of the time, if you look at some of the 2D art for the brats, they just have like the hair down. Every now and then they'll have like an updo, but it's probably like a ponytail or something with braids. Nothing that I've ever really seen with like buns. Unless you look at the Tweebles, but I mean, <laughs> I don't think the Tweebles have a 2D style that's been officially released by the um, MGA franchise. The other thing that I kind of had some issues with with this one was the highlights. They do some almost like they tried to replicate 3D type shading with it and you can see kind of where <laughs> I kind of sort of gave up a little bit with it because the Winx Club they don't really have all that heavy highlights and shading they just have like the flat colors and then they're gone. <laughs> The next one that I did was uh, Sailor Moon. This was another show. This was the first anime I'd ever seen. I remember watching it like way back in the day when I was like in diapers. Uh, my mom started me off with this show, watching it, and I've always loved it. That's another show that my love for it has not changed. I wasn't going to do the Sailor Moon Crystal style because, I mean, <laughs> We're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> I mean, that that series is good too, but it can't touch the manga or the uh, the original 90s TV series. I kind of had a hard time with this because, I don't know, it's not that it's really hard to replicate this style because this was another one that I used to try and draw all the time growing up. When I had my manga phase or anime phase that every artist seems to have just about. But I wasn't really sure exactly how I would pull the hair back. Because they do have some characters that have their hair pulled back. But most of the time they have some type of bang or something, you know? Now that I think about it, season 5 had some characters that had their hair pulled back but I didn't really reference that I just tried to reference the OG main five or the main uh Sailor Scouts and even some reference to the Outer Senshi because of how they're designed but I kind of took inspiration from Sailor Moon's buns or space buns that she has in the top of her ponytails so I just went with that and kind of overdid it with <laughs> The, the details for the hair and the buns <laughs> and you can see that with the highlights here because I wasn't really sure exactly how to replicate that exact to I guess match the style the next one you might be able to tell you might not is Tokyo Mew Mew. That was another one. I started out with the show when it was on Foxbox, even though they cut it off early in the middle of season two. I really don't know what happened with that, but it's a mix of that style and manga style because I used to always try to draw from the manga. I didn't copy the TV series because I don't know, the for whatever reason with a lot of the animes, the show's art style is slightly different from the manga for some reason, at least for me. The manga's art styles always look better. 
you can kind of see where I started to tire out a bit once I got to this one because I had so much energy for the first four and I think this one this is maybe like the third day <laughs> I was trying to get down the line weight because if you look at the art style for this one I don't think the line weight is really this heavy but I think I was starting to get kind of confused between the different ones for it because I kept finding references for the manga and the TV series. This next one is from the show Lolly Rock. They only have two series seasons and I think you can find all of the episodes on their YouTube page but I haven't seen anything where it was exclusively like released on a certain platform like Hulu or Netflix but I'm pretty sure you can find all the episodes on YouTube. This was a pretty good series it's almost like Sailor Moon and all the other Magical Girl series if you can kind of tell there's a trend amongst this but it's kind of like those I don't want to spoil the plot for anybody that hasn't seen it but it's a pretty good show I wish they would go ahead and release season three but for whatever reason they haven't yet even though they said that they were potentially going to come out with one and then they kind of like disappeared this art style kind of wasn't hard to replicate in terms of sketching where I kind of had trouble was with the highlights because if you look at their art it's how they do the highlights almost like you go in where you have color at and then you erase it and just leave it white or color it in white where the light hits the skin or the hair at or well not necessarily with the clothes they do lighting up pretty I guess similar to how other people do the lighting in terms of clothes but with skin and hair it's just like a white cast I guess because I kind of had a certain direction with where I'm going in terms of where the light is hitting the skin kind of sort of in a three-fourth kind of way made it a bit challenging for me to figure it out but I think it's because I didn't take as long as I should have to study this art style and that's on me but it still came out pretty okay I like it one thing I also kind of had um issues with is trying to figure out exactly how some of the shading or like um how they highlight the inside of some of the eyes it was <laughs> it was kind of hard to pinpoint exactly how they did it for example Okay, for, for example, Winx Club, they have a set way that they do their eyes, even though all of the characters have potentially different shaped eyes. The way they color the eyes and highlight is the same, but with Sailor Moon, if you pay close enough attention, all of the Sailor Scouts or maybe even the different characters that are background characters have different, I guess, designs for how their eyes are drawn. I don't know it's hard to describe I kind of had issues with that with the anime ones this next style <laughs> is a really good example of how I guess I kind of got burned out <laughs> I think this was also the last day because I was pushing myself to finish it I wanted to release this video a bit earlier but life kind of got in the way <laughs> but um this next style is supposed to be the Simpsons <laughs> I really tried hard in this one I studied their I guess the way they do anatomy and stylized the characters to try to make it look similar but it just wasn't working she ended up looking like a Bob's uh, Burgers character <laughs> we're not going to talk about that
the last one um is from magical do re mi this one was another one that was on poor kids tv <laughs> um or fox box whichever one you want to refer it as this one they the all of the characters at least the main characters they're pretty young they're elementary school students i believe if i remember correctly so i just went ahead and followed that and tried to make her look young and replicate the line weight for that one this i think where i kind of missed the mark is the size of the buns because if you look at the main character she has buns in her hair but for whatever reason i just made them smaller <laughs> i'm pretty sure hers were bigger from the uh, reference photo that i had but eh, i don't know i just kind of but like i said these these last ones weren't my best i mean maybe i'll redo this in the future um anyways though thank you guys for watching and if you like this type of thing <laughs> hearing me ramble <laughs> let me know if you like this content and would like to see more please hit the like button subscribe leave a comment see you next time bye